Hello, beautiful lady. Yes, I am talking to you. It is Thursday, and you know what goes down here on Thursday. Wife Life with Dr. Gail goes down here on Thursday. So do me a huge, huge favor. Make sure you're hitting the subscribe button and the little bell right next to it so you will know when I go live. We're bringing sexy back. We're bringing sexy back. Let's get it started. Pardon, won't you give it up? And so tonight I want to talk to you about something that my social media manager, Jordan, told me that I should take. Because if you guys know anything about me, I'm very open and honest, but I'm very stubborn and I'm very hard headed when it comes to certain things that Gil asked me to do. And so I'm just being open and honest on here. So he was like, you need to talk about you being hard headed when it comes to the things that Gil asked me not to do. OK, so I'm going to talk to you about six ways to deal with a hard headed, stubborn spouse. And I'm talking to myself. OK, so let me give you the definition of stubborn. OK, that it means headstrong, willful, strong willed, pig headedness, difficult. And yes, I fit into most of those categories when it comes to certain things. OK, and as you guys know, Gil and I have been married 35 years, had no business being married when I came into my marriage. I came into my marriage as a boss. I had my own house, my own car, my own everything at age 21. So Gil couldn't tell me anything. And that caused disaster in our marriage for years. Because if Gil said go left, I definitely would go right. Okay. And it was just because that was the way I was raised. I was not raised to be that submissive wife. I had to learn how to be a submissive wife and work alongside of Gil and not work against Gil. But anyway, let me just tell you how to deal with a stubborn, hard-headed spouse. Number one way to deal with a hard-headed spouse is don't allow yourself to get stressed out, right? Just breathe. Because let me tell you this, Gil and I are polar opposites. I am always on a 10. I'm always wanting to be in the know. I'm always wanting to go. I'm always, always, always. Gil is very laid back. He's very quiet. He's a man of very few words, but he has learned not to stress himself out dealing with Gail. Because if he stresses himself out, then I'm going to be on to the next thing and he's still going to be dealing with the stress that I caused in the beginning. So just breathe. Don't allow us hard-headed, stubborn spouses to stress you out. Breathe. Number two way to deal with a hard-headed spouse is choose your moment carefully. Okay. And what do I mean by choose your moment carefully? Timing is everything, right? And we're, I'm not saying that you have to bow down to us and that you have to agree with us and that you have to go on all of these journeys that we go on, but timing is everything. Timing is everything when you speak to us. Timing is everything about how you speak to us and the approach that you have. So you have to figure that out for your spouse. But let me just tell you, timing is everything, right? And I'll give you an example. I wanted to start a new program for wives, right? And I had three other programs at the time going. And I was telling Gil all about this new program. And he's like, you know, G, my question to you is, uh, it sounds like a great program, but can you handle the three programs that you currently have going plus adding another one. And I had to think about it. And it, being stubborn, usually I would say, yes, I can. But I had to realize it's only one of me. I have clients all over the world. Thank you, Jesus. Right. And to add another program at this time was not good. So timing is everything. OK, number three, how to deal with a hard headed spouse is don't forget to show us love through all my me being hard headed and having to pick myself up with failures and all the things that Gil had told me to go left. And I went right on and whatever. Gil has always shown me love. So I understand that he's not working against me. He wants the best for me again. It seems like most of the time when you have a stubborn, hard headed spouse, the other spouse is their balance. So be that person's balance and just show them unconditional love. Number four way to deal with a hard headed spouse is massage our egos, right? Most of the time when you are a forward thinker and you're hard headed and you're on a mission to accomplish something and you think that you're right, we want our 
ego's massage. And I'm not saying be anything fake or do anything fake. What I'm saying is, is that we need to hear what we came up with or what we're doing is making a difference and making an impact in someone's life, right? And so Gil strokes my ego all the time. He's like, you know, G, you're doing an amazing job with saving marriages. You're on the path that God has for you to eradicate divorce. Keep going, right? And we don't always agree, but that makes me feel good to even notice that he notices me and all my passion towards you guys. Okay. Number five way to deal with a hard headed spouse is make sure that you have all the facts before you come talk to us. Because most people who are stubborn and hard headed, we do a lot of research. We know all the good, the bad, and the ugly of what we're about to say or do or embark on. So if you're going to refute that, make sure you have all the facts so it's an even playing field. Because if not, with us being hard at it, if we can find one thing that is not done or one thing that we can put and say, well, this is the reason why I'm doing it, we're going to do it. And I'm just telling you being open and honest, okay? And number six way to deal with a hard-headed spouse is you got to stick to your guns, right? And there has been times, many times, that I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to whatever, whatever. And Gil's like, that's not happening. And the times that he has said that, I'm like, excuse me? He's like, it's not happening. And here's the reason why. He comes with the facts, right? And I can't refute them. And trust and believe me, I'm not a wife that is perfect. And I'm not a wife that always wants to go against what Gil has to say. I understand that he is the head of my household. I understand that he does have the final say, but we have developed such a good communication now that when he says no, it's not happening, I listen. Because he has seen something that I have not thought about, or he has seen something and experienced something that I have not experienced, and he does not want me to go down that path. But let me just end with this, because if you're dealing with a hard-headed, stubborn spouse, let me just tell you that we are some good people. We are very creative people. And these people that I'm about to list and tell you have been called stubborn publicly, and they have been able to impact and change the world. The first person is Steve Jobs. If they would have told him that he shouldn't build Apple, that's stupid. You guys wouldn't be looking at me or on that iPhone, okay? Elon Musk, if they would have told him that nobody's going to plug a car in and drive it around, we wouldn't have electric cars that are saving emissions and saving us gas, all that kind of stuff. We wouldn't have that. Jeff Bezos, they told him nobody is going to go and buy books online. We have Barnes & Noble. Nobody's going to do it. But We're clicking Amazon like nobody's business. Oprah Winfrey, somebody told her, no African-American overweight woman, nobody's going to watch you on television. But look, she changed the whole entire way that talk shows are done today, right? And Sarah Barkley, she was the lady that told us ladies, listen, I understand that you need to work out, but if you need a little help, these spanks can help you look just as fine as if you went to the gym. So I say that yes, I am hard-headed and yes, I am stubborn. And yes, I had hip surgery in September and I have been doing everything that I was not supposed to be doing. So I've been paying for it because I am hard-headed and did not listen to Gil. But I I'm on a mission to eradicate divorce. And I thank you so much for watching this. And again, just love on your spouse and find a way to communicate what is bothering you. And I hope that these tips have helped you. I love you guys to pieces. I am here every single Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will see you next week.